Appreciate you, man of God. Listen, <laughs> what's up, y'all? <laughs> this is this is uh, in, in the, the pocket. pocket. We about to go out of pocket in the pocket podcast. Uh, we got a special one for you today. We got my guy Larry, center couch, center mass. That's a cop reference, by the way. Uh, and we got Josh drum class over there uh, to the left. We about to get into some stuff that I, I think is uh, important and funny, but I want to start off by uh, y'all getting to know who these gentlemen are. You don't need to know me. I felt you in your spirit. Like, who is me? Don't worry about it. All right. Uh, He's just a host. We just having a we'll conversation. We'll have a new host next Rain. time. <laughs> <laughs> he said we'll have a new host. Rain, Rain Listen, I, 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 I am a musician. I play keys. These two are really great drummers, and we're going to get different perspectives. Now, I may be biased on certain things, but that's why we got this in the pocket podcast. Uh, but first, let's find out who these guys are. Let them tell you a little bit about themselves. Let's we'll start out with Larry. Uh, <laughs> man, that feels like a whole integration. But <laughs> Larry Belton, drummer. He from, told a uh, lot about himself right there. <laughs> <laughs> from California, Sacramento, California, uh, a musician, drummer, uh, moving into other things, but drummer first. What else? Oh, we on you. Oh, okay. Joshua Crawford, YouTuber, drummer, um, from born in Georgia, moved to uh, Illinois, five years back to Georgia. I don't know why, how that happened. Then to New York, back to uh, to to New Jersey, and then back here. So we just all over the place. Did I say drummer? Yeah, he, he drummer. did. And we we triple it, so same story. Except I don't play drums. All right. So in the pocket, um, place where we go out of pocket sometimes, right? Uh, I want to start off by. This question, get your perspective. What is pocket? We finna be here all night. Oh, no. We'll take your time, man. What oh, is, oh, look, what real is... quick. I'll give the quick answer, and then we'll go deeper into it. The pocket, for everybody confused, this is the quickest answer, all right? In this case, the pocket is whatever the artist is requiring you to do. Whatever they want, that's what you do. That's the pocket. That's the short answer. Anybody got any disagreement to that? Because we can dive deeper once we get that out. That's, that's the actual answer, the best answer. <laughs> Anybody that disagrees with that will be crazy about it. But yeah, whatever the artist wants is the actual pocket. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Oh. You don't have to, because hey, we going, <laughs> I'm, we, we well, move from the simple. I mean, I, I get it. Sometimes the artists don't know what they want. Right, that's the next part. So, so, so what is pocket? Especially if you ain't the producer. So, all right, let's dive into this. Take your time. Get That's a good it. question. All right. So, this right now, for, for the example, we're going to leave out, we're going to just strictly talk about drums because for now, Definitely. then we'll move to keys and stuff. But um, what I see is a, it's a trend when it comes to pocket. Um, the first thing that people do immediately, they use it as a, as a hating phrase. So if they see somebody doing something either that they can't do or they doing um, well-placed chops, the first comment, you know, I wish he was more in the pocket. That's like the number one thing. And for example, also when you see three drummers, one of them can chop real good. The other one can chop, got timing, placement. The other one can only play a locked groove. The lot groove one is going to say, you know, I can't really do all that stuff, but I'm a pocket drummer. <laughs> now, the... Yeah, my bad. Go ahead. What, okay, so one of the most tight uh, albums, like locked-in albums, correct me if I'm wrong, Marvin Sap Thirsty. We're talking gospel music right yeah. now there. Right now, okay. we're talking gospel Okay, music. yeah. Because pop and all of that, you are literally doing what the artist wanted. You like they you they give you a beat up front. You learn that you got the pads, you got the click track, you mm -hmm. locked in. I mean, we talking about gospel. Marvin Sapp's Thirsty album. 
Calvin was locked in, yes or no? Oh, the dude was super locked. Nobody going to say he wasn't and then getting fired from the gospel community. <laughs> so He's not going to do that. Um, but, yeah, he was locked. Okay, he so here's an example on where this pocket, because possess the land starts off with a pair of diddle diddle. You speak Literally. In, you speak in another language to me. It's a rudiment. Definitely a rudiment. Okay. Chops. Okay. Right? I don't have, you, Churchy, you need interpretation with some of these drummers. <laughs> Paradiddle <laughs> diddle sound like heavenly language at the time. <laughs> but I get diddle. you, so it's a rudiment. Yep. Uh, possess the land. I hear it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So That's definitely out of pocket at some churches. But it made it a <laughs> It's definitely... It did it make the it album. album. It made the album. That's true. So, like, well, I guess the best way Hold to up. phrase it. Hold you got a lot to say. I and do. I know this no, is no, a yeah, trigger subject. I, 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 no, you know, go, go ahead, ahead and ahead. answer it. I, I'll get to mine in a minute. Okay. All right. Well, hey. I guess the best way we to phrase We can do episodes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 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 okay. I'll, 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 I'll tag team at, with this statement. I guess the best way to, to define pocket, another P word, placement, right? Yep. This this is just me being devil's advocate when it comes to arguing about pocket. When people say chops, you shouldn't chops like that's not pocket. You can't add chops, right? But let's right. say we locked in, right? And then we end in the song, and you're just doing crescendo on the on the cymbals. Is that not a single stroke row? Single stroke row. It Rudiment. makes sense. Rudiment. Okay. Placement is the biggest thing. It's the biggest thing. Like it's it's overlooked because they confuse chops with placement. Well, let me. I, I'm a, I want to hear Larry's point of view. Go ahead. And then ahead. after I'm warning you, I'm throwing y'all a curveball. Go ahead. Can't, but go can't. ahead. But I mean, I get it. All right. So take the jazz, the jazz industry, right? Most people that say pocket don't even understand the jazz industry. Now, if you dive, and I get it. Everybody goes into the, the you know gospel world of it most because we have the most freedom with them playing what we want to play but in jazz if you really study jazz that freedom is all throughout jazz and True. if you actually study jazz drummers jazz musicians you'll hear a lot of chops in everybody's playing not just the drummers uh one of the things i learned about tony williams was the way he started his solo was always listening to miles the last phrase that Miles would play is how he started his solo. So every night, however Miles ended his solo, that was the beginning of Tony's. And throughout every song in jazz, there's freedom, and some of it, some of it uh, can fluctuate off of what they're playing each night. And even though it's, can't, you know, it might be sound crazy to some people in some genres, that in that moment is that feel, and that's the pocket in that actual genre. So would you say that's not the curveball? Uh, so you ready for that curveball? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, just to let you know, I'm, I'm warning y'all. This is a great question. The curveball is, but this is a follow-up. Uh, in jazz, uh, your pocket is it based on how much you know about improvisation? Then? Because then would the imp what you're saying is basically the improvisation throughout the entire tune, right? So, like, if you're coming off the last phrase, it's really pocket is based in in that situation as a conversation between the musicians at the time musically. Always a conversation. Is that a same thing in gospel music? This it ain't the curveball. It should be. Because Ooh. music is, it, it should be, because music is always a conversation first. Well, here's my curveball. <laughs> it, like, it should be. It should, it should be. be. But majority of the time, gospel music has turned into focusing on the singer. The only person out of pocket <laughs> every time is the singer. I mean, listen, we're not going to, Brian Kahn, we're not talking about you, brother. We, we, the, <laughs> Kim, 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 Brian Kahn. Kim Burrell, we ain't talking about you. Um, don't get in your flesh or your feelings. Bless God. Um, but you're right. Yeah. You're right. You ready for this curveball? Yeah. After you take back that apology. No, 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 no. As a keyboard player, I don't like most singers. So, so I got a curveball for keyboard I, I, players, I, I, but go ahead. Well, well you can wait. Until go ahead. I'm going to wait. Until it's your turn to host. I'm going to wait. Since we're going to have another one. Every, every, all right. All right. 